Sasha, you and I were talking before we actually started the interview and I can't, I'm a transparent guy and I'm an honest guy. And I asked you the question, how does somebody from Workworth and a guy at a radio station in Belleville only cross paths now? At which point you, and rightfully so, called me out because you've been in this studio once a few years. <laughs> I've been in that very studio a few years ago. Uh, that wasn't too long after I won the Next Country Music Star competition in 2016. So, but a lot has changed. A lot has changed and the world has changed. So you are forgiven. Well, I appreciate that because if you had <laughs> told me it was over before it even began, I wouldn't have blamed you. <laughs> but you did say that a lot's changed. And you're so right because the trajectory of your career has just continued to do this. And I'm so happy to hear about it. But first, uh, for people, you know, because again, you were here back 2016, 2017 time. Remind people, because I consider you an area artist, tell people your story from getting to Workworth to where you are now. Well, Workworth, I consider my hometown. That's where I had my formative years in life. And also in music, my parents were musicians, so they had a band and uh, it was a, a really unique kind of coming home after school experience when you'd have guitarists and you know the rec room rehearsing for their gigs or you know backyard bonfires and we'd even go up to the Royal Legion that was not too far around behind the house and get to go watch our parents band play there and so Warford, Ontario, a really small town, uh, really rural and country, that's where I got a dose of country music, country living and all sorts of things. We grew our vegetables in our backyard. We had sleepovers on farms at our friend's house. And uh, the house actually that I grew up in is still um, there. It's occupied by uh, a friend of my parents. And my bedroom last time I went to visit is still the same. And that's a long time ago. So it's pretty cool. I love the town, it's very quaint. A lot of memories, a lot of history. And uh, that, yeah, that's just a little bit of a, a backstory of who I am, where I'm from. You know, it's funny because I grew up in Baltimore, which is not all that far from yeah. uh, from Workworth. Yeah. And I'm sure if your experience was like mine, but when you grow up in a rural area like you just described and like I did too, all you want to do is get out. And then when you do, all you want to do is get back. <laughs> yeah. You know, we didn't know when we moved, we moved uh, to Oshawa and that was a big change. We didn't want to get out. All we knew was what we knew. We, we had to go learn street lights when we got to, you know, how to read the street lights and learn a whole bunch of new way of living. You know, you go from having lots of land and running around and dirt and gravel roads to crosswalks and highway and traffic, et cetera, right? So we didn't want to get out, but a lot of my friends who did stay, they wanted to get out. They got out. Me, yeah, I would love to go back. You know what I miss about Workworth? What's that? I miss the Workworth Cheese Factory. I'm glad to say that. Anybody that says or brings up Workworth to me is um, they talk about the Workworth Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait. they're like, yeah, isn't that the place where the prison is? I'm like, well, they're also known for the cheese factory. <laughs> so I'm glad you said that. Oh, my gosh. My parents and I and my brothers and sisters, we'd get in the vehicle, we'd go for the Sunday drive, which, you know, that's about as country a thing as there is to do, and go to the Workworth Cheese Factory, get a couple of bags of the curd. It was just the greatest thing. Cheese curds, yes. Yeah, it uh, was. I love this. You know, if we sit and talk about rural Ontario and Workworth, <laughs> but this is the point in time where I get to read parts of your resume back to you. Okay. Until such time as you become uncomfortable with it. And, uh, and I do that right. for my own amusement. Spotify's right. Radar Canada featured artist. That's impressive. Amazon Music Canada's, my eyes aren't what they used to be, breakthrough artist. Apple Music Canada's country cover artist. And it goes on. CMT Women of Country Class of 2021. When I say stuff like this, like 300,000 plus streams of we did in the first two weeks. When I read analytics out data like that, and it's all tied to you, how does that feel? 
Man, uh, I'm still trying to come up with the words for it all when people ask me that question. It feels incredible. Like it's been a long time coming, Paul. So it's it's kind of caught up. All the seeds that I've been planting is like caught up in the last two years and I'm finally reaping all this reward. And at times it's kind of like going so fast that you don't even have the moment to really sit down and appreciate it. But when someone like yourself reiterates what's happening, reminds you what's going on and all the great things that have been happening, it's, I'm taking a bath. It's like an outer body experience. I'm like, wait a second, is that the same girl? Is that, is that me he's talking about? And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm elated. I, I'm extremely grateful and extremely thankful that A, I've had so much support and B, that I didn't quit. Well, good on you because I read uh, a little chunk of an interview that you had given and you, know, you talked and you referenced it a second ago about all the work that goes into this, right? And it can be said with accuracy, it takes 10 years to create an overnight success. So you, in the interview, you knocked on a lot of doors, you got a lot of no's, but you got one yes that changed everything. And so when I was reading the story, I stopped right there because I didn't want to spoil it. I wanted you to tell the story. So after getting all the no's knocking on the doors, what was the yes? Where was it from? And what did it create? That yes comes from Leslie Fram from CMT Next to Women of Country. And it was an invite to be a part of class of 2021. And I'll never forget, I was walking my dog. Uh, just around the area and I got an email saying hey we'd like to invite you to be a part of this year's next one country class of 2021 we want to invite you as an inductee and I remember just laughing and getting all giddy and smiling ear to ear and looking like I was going crazy um, it was like a, it was a dream come true because I've admired the program for so long and what they do for young women and how they champion young women and it, women in country music and I was like, wow, this may be the biggest opportunity for me to not only be seen, but to be heard. And on a platform that allows you to really expand your reach and be introduced to a whole new audience. That moment was, is life-changing and game-changing for me. Well, congratulations on that. And on uh, the EP, we did. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So great. You know, I just... One of the things through the pandemic that it really feels like we're getting slowly but surely through, one of the things we were able to count on was the release of new music. And in a time where all we heard about was what we no longer have access to, what we can't do even temporarily, new music continued to come. So thanks for being a part of that. We did, the EP is on our hands, including the single. Uh, walk us through the EP and... Um, Let's start with the title track, We Did. We Did. Man, We Did is a, the first time I heard this song. I, I've had the honor to be able to have songs that were written as if I wrote them. I do write, but this EP has been a collection of some songs that ended up on my table. I was like, I gotta have that. That's gotta, I've gotta have that. And it was like a match made in heaven. And when I heard We Did, um, right away the energy just, just really took me away and not only that just to have a personal story of falling in love which a lot of people if not if they haven't had the experience at least maybe wish to so it's just such a universal message and then the energy behind it and and the young feelings that come with falling in love and the sleepless nights and in the verses and the course of the thunder and the lightning and you know it's just I just had a certain feeling about this song and I'm hoping that all the listeners would have the same. And so far it's working out pretty good uh, with the single and hidden radio. Uh, yeah, so that's what we did. Um, well, you know, it, it's, you talk about the listeners and the song and what was really neat was to see on your socials recently, you as a listener hearing we did on the radio for the first time. And that's why I wanted to start with that particular song because Watching the genuine excitement in you, you heard your song, We Did, first time you'd heard that on the radio. Yeah, I nearly broke the steering wheel. I nearly took it right <laughs> out of its, right out of its, 
place just banging on it. And uh, yeah, that was just a snippet. I, I recorded the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to release the rest, but the car is intact and it was just incredible. It, like I've, I've heard this song. I've known this song. I fell in love with this song uh, for a while before any of the listeners could it, preview it. And for it to be up on the airwaves, I, it, I'm ecstatic. Well, there's also a song on that EP, and I think the hanging, the wall hanging above your shoulder might have a little something to do with that. <laughs> and you talk about the influence of social media and society, and certainly the impact it can have on an artist's music. What the Truck, which is on the EP, uh, what an incredible story behind the song. Unreal. That, that, thanks to TikTok. The Rec Laws put up a TikTok inviting their fans and their audience to be a part of the song. And, you know, I just I just saw it and I didn't think anything. I would never have thought that I'd have a plaque behind my head just joining a TikTok duet, put up my little spiel, hit upload, and it went on my feed. And I didn't think anything. I would turn around, went on with my life, probably went off, washed dishes, something. Before you know it, I'm getting a DM from Jenna from the Rec and she's like, hey, we love what you did. We want you to be a part of this song. And I I love telling the story because it's just so real and exciting. But, and I was like, are you, is this a joke? Like, like, is this a crank? Is this, it's like, oh, no, this is not a joke. Like, we really loved it. And uh, before I knew it, I think maybe the week after I'm in a re studio recording my parts and then I'm on doing the music video and then I'm at Budweiser stage, Calgary Stampede, closing out the CCMAs. And, um, and then I'm waking up from a dream. I don't know. It still <laughs> hasn't quite hit me. The thing that hits me the most, though, is like, what would happen if I didn't do that, if I didn't take that opportunity? Bingo. Thank you. Because I was just going to say, you know, all those things that you listed that were a result. You put yourself in that position to create that outcome by doing what you did. Right. It's baffling. Um, and then I, you know, any opportunity that comes my way or for anyone that's listening, man, take it. Don't be afraid of what it might, what you might look like or what could go wrong, all the what ifs. Um, every opportunity is an opportunity for something greater to happen. And man, am I ever glad I've slept on a few things. I've procrastinated on a few things, but man, am I glad that I did not do so in this situation. Well, and that's a little sliver of wisdom that I think anybody can apply to their life, whether it's in the music industry or anything anybody does is don't go to sleep on those opportunities that are right under your nose. That's right. I think I need you to talk to my teenage kids. Get the <laughs> okay. I'll come over with my guitar and I'll do a little motivational, musical, inspirational. Oh my gosh, we got a little campfire going and it'll just be the <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Ashley, tell me about uh, uh, the other couple of songs that are on the uh, EP we did. Um, do I have the title right in Pretty Please? Pretty Please. Yeah, that's yeah. special. It is a special song, and I actually I fell in love with it. It's a song that, that kind of brings to light a little bit more of a transparency from my heart as an artist, and uh, not even as an artist, as a human being and some of the struggles that people face when it comes to either confidence or how they view themselves or how they compare themselves. And um, it's just uh, this song in and of itself, I'm really excited about because we have something special planned with this song and I, I've got to keep them up, but I'm like, I'm like so stoked about it. And I'm just, I'm just ready to see how many hearts all over the world this song can impact. Hmm. How many times are gonna am I going to have to ask really nice, how many times will it take before you spill the beans? <laughs> I know, right? It might take a phone call, an email, a, <laughs> a confirmation before I can spill the beans about what's going on with it. But it shouldn't. Patience, patience and, All right. and reveal, yeah. All right, fair enough. Congratulations on everything. I think, you know, what's clear to me is that you put in the work, you're reaping the benefit, you're taking the opportunities, and you have the talent to make it all happen. Congrats on the release of We Did. Uh, it's still early in 2022. Uh, I think there's an optimistic feeling uh, just in society that we're 
better days are ahead. So if 2022 is perfect for Sasha, how's the year going to look? You have no idea. I can't wait. Um, the year's going to look great. And you know what? I think that that even starts with yourself. I mean, we can already we can predict what our future is going to be. If we're sitting around saying the year's not going to be too good, well, guess what? It might not be too good. But um, speaking of course, now, this is going to be another record-breaking year for myself and for you, Paul, and for anybody else out there that's listening. It's going to be a record-breaking year if you believe it. You know what? I feel like I should just have a Zoom call with you every day at 1.30. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> a standing appointment. They don't all have to be on. I just need Sasha to tell me everything's going to be okay, and I'm going to believe it. Let's do it. I'll start, I'll start a little side gig here. It's motivational hour with Sasha. <laughs> yeah, therapist, that's it. There you go. <laughs> Well, thank you for this. I appreciate it. Um, you know, we've covered a lot of ground and I'm glad we did. Uh, it really does feel like we're watching something special start to happen right before our eyes. And I know you're a part of a great team in Starseed Entertainment and my awesome. God, yeah, they're going to really help you uh, take things to the absolute next level. And they've got a great artist on their hands. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so excited working with them because it's like we share the same vision and that's all an artist could ask for is somebody that has the same passion sees the same things that you see and is ready to run with the wind so yeah i'm so happy to have a front row seat to watch the entire thing <laughs> so great where do people see uh, find you on socials come and find me on instagram um on tiktok of course <laughs> if you haven't found me there and on facebook my website uh i guess paul you should have the details maybe or should i spell it out because sasha's not spelled this the way that they think it is it's s-a-c-h-a but paul We'll have the details. That's right. Thank you for because I've said this to other artists. Spelling really does count on the internet. Um, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you spell one word wrong and it can take you. <laughs> <laughs> Go to whole other route. Yeah. Well, I want people to go find uh, uh, you on socials and certainly go find that video of you hearing We Did on the radio the other day. It was heartwarming and fun to watch. And, and uh, again, congrats on everything so far. And the best is yet to come, Sasha. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And I love having your support, Paul.